Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and today we're talking about when to use the flaps on your plane. We're going to look at a bunch of different situations and even differentiate whether you're using a boom and zoom plane and style or a turn and burn plane and style. First up, flaps are primarily useful for when you have guns on the target. That means you're able to get the most firing time that you can. Extending the flaps increases your maneuverability just a little bit, and that will allow you to keep your guns active on your current target. If the flaps increase your maneuverability, why not have them on all the time? Well, they also slow your speed. In some situations, like the one shown where I'm diving on a target, I actually want to slow my speed so I don't overshoot my target. However, think about when you're diving or you want to slow your speed by cutting the throttle instead. By cutting the throttle, this recharges your boost faster. But flaps slow you down and increase your maneuverability. And finally, use the flaps to acquire a target. Here the target is moving perpendicular to me and I need to use the flaps to turn tighter as he flies by. One thing I don't recommend using the flaps for, please don't use the flaps to do 180 degree turns. You bleed off too much speed in almost any plane. What will happen is, yes, you will turn around faster, but you'll be traveling so slow that the enemy will be out of your gun range almost immediately. To perform tighter 180 degree turns, use slice turns, where you pitch the plane into the vertical. This not only will retain your energy, it will slow your aircraft down, allowing you for a tighter turn. So on the past two guns on target, I used the flaps very sparingly, and now when I acquire a target, a long range target, I'm not using flaps at all because I want to conserve my energy. This next target is moving very fast, perpendicular to me, and to acquire him I do use the flaps. However, when he passes me, I'm able to release the flaps and make sure that I have enough energy in the dive to keep up with them. However, here I have a little too much energy, and I extend the flaps not only to gain some maneuverability, but to slow the plane down a bit, preventing me from crashing right into the ground and getting a little more guns on target time. Energy retention is very important in any plane that you're going to fly, and so you want to use the flaps as little as possible. Next up, we're going to take a look at turn and burn using the flaps, which is going to be a little bit different. So we're in the Yak-1M, this is a tier 6 Russian light fighter, and we're diving on an IL-2T. However, I'm not using the flaps here, I'm, and the reason why is because it's early in the game, and I want to conserve my energy. I don't want to slowly dive onto a target, burn all my energy, and then be a sitting duck. So I use a high yo-yo, pitching up into the vertical, getting some altitude, putting some distance between us, and increasing the angle on my target, and then re-diving on him. Notice my speed was still above 500 kmh before I started climbing again. This allows me to save some of my energy for future engagements. Even though this is a turn and burn fighter, I'm still very concerned about energy management. Conserving your energy is important because it allowed me to jump back up to an altitude where I could engage the enemy again and keep up a high enough speed to where I could catch up to them. Here my flight mate is in trouble, and so the rules are going to change just a bit. I need to peel fighters off of him, and so I use flaps a little bit longer than normal to acquire the target. However, you can see what the extended flap usage has done. I'm at the low end of my optimal speed range, and even that lag 3, another turn fighter, was actually outrunning me, and he was uh, started within 200 meters of range and was getting farther away. So I was forced to use my boost in the horizontal to get my speed back up. Now we have a lot of enemies behind me. I use the flaps just a little bit and then I quickly stop uh, to conserve some energy while I realize I have targets in front of me. In a tightly turning plane you're still going to use the flaps more but you should still be careful with it. That 410 is able to quickly get away because my speed is so low. This next engagement I keep the flaps on for an extended period of time 
because I need to try and slow myself and not overshoot the target. I have also cut the throttle to zero, but also because he requires so little damage left. Sometimes it's worth throwing away some energy because you really need to get another plane off of the field. One final note, if you're using the flaps to spin in circles with one opponent, you are doing it wrong. Way wrong. That should never be the answer. All you're doing is taking your gun out of the game. Find other ways with as little turning as possible to be useful. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.